Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create realistic shadow effects. So we're going to take this image and turn it into this image with completely controllable opacity and blur on our shadow. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to build a shadow layer or in video terms, it's called a gobo. It's kind of like a fake shadow layer. So let's go ahead and go to File and New. And we'll just start off with a 1920 by 1080 document here. Let's just grab uh, our rectangle tool here, make sure that our fill is black. And we're just going to drag a rectangle across the screen like that. Using the Move tool here, let's hit Enter. And real quickly, we can make a bunch of duplicates here. So we'll duplicate. The insertion mode will be behind. And we're going to bring this vertical down uh, roughly right about there. And then we're going to increase the number of copies until we cover the entire canvas. And then we'll click OK. And to bring another degree of realism into this or detail, let's put some branch in the background. I went ahead and downloaded a silhouette of a branch. You can find these about anywhere on the internet. So open that. Let's drag it out so it takes up part of the screen there. That looks pretty good. And rasterize and trim that so that it will blend with the other ones. We'll select all these layers and group them. And then we will rasterize and trim those. So once we have that, let's go ahead and copy this whole selection, Command C. And we'll come back over to our portrait image here. And we'll paste it in there for right now, Command V. And we're just going to hide it for now. So what we need to do here with our background selected is we need to do an exposure adjustment to create the level of shadow that we want. So let's come down here to our adjustment layers. And we'll put in an exposure. And let's dial the exposure down quite a bit. I say let's bring it down to about 2.6-ish or so. Maybe a little bit more, 2.7. And we'll go with that. Now we can turn our shadow layer back on and see what we've got here. Now that's kind of big. So let's zoom out a little bit here. And what we can do is to make this look a little bit more realistic, let's give it some perspective. So we'll grab our perspective tool here. And I'm just going to pin these corners and then drag this in and up. So we've kind of got like a window at an angle. That looks good right about there. So we'll go ahead and apply that. All right, our next step is to apply this to our exposure adjustment. So let's take our exposure adjustment layer here and let's add in a layer mask. And then what we can do is with that layer mask selected, let's command click on our shadow layer to select it. And we'll grab our paintbrush tool. We'll make sure that we're painting with black. And we're just going to go over our entire picture here. And after we've done this, if we look up into the corner here, we can see that our layer mask has our selection painted onto it. So let's hit Command D to deselect. And let's turn off this layer. So now if we look here, we've got what we kind of want, but we need to invert this. So if we grab our mask layer here and hit Command I, that will invert it. And now what we need to do is, let's go ahead and blur this out a little bit as well, because it wouldn't be that sharp. With our adjustment layer selected, let's come over to Gaussian Blur. And we'll add a Gaussian Blur to that. And we're going to dial it up. Now you can see that's affecting the whole image. So what we want to do is take this Gaussian blur and just drop it just onto our adjustment layer like that. So now we can see what we're doing. Now, you know, the tendency is to bring up the blur until you kind of get it where you want it, but we don't want it that blurry. So what we'll do is let's leave this a little sharper like that. And now what we can do is come to our mask layer and by adjusting the opacity of our mask layer, we can get the amount of shadow where we want it first, 
and then we can say, okay, these branches are a little bit too sharp. So now let's come back into our blur adjustment and we can further blur or sharpen at that point. So, so right now, the way we're doing this, we have complete control over the blur as well as the amount of exposure changing. So again, we can come to the exposure adjustment now and really drop it down without changing the blur or lighten it up. So yeah, that's a pretty quick and easy way to create a realistic shadow effect. Your mileage may vary depending on your, your starting picture, but if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button and think about subscribing to my channel. And until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.